Hi, and thanks for watching what will be my first ever published video on this new GoPro camera that I just acquired. Hopefully it works. So, you have a mouse? Well, I am in my kitchen because a few days ago my wife did see a mouse in our kitchen. It's something that we've had a number of times over the years, and I've caught quite a few of these critters, so I think I've, I've got some credibility as quite the mouser. Uh, I'm Dave, and again, thank you for watching my video. Um, <clears throat> so if you have a mouse in your house, it's a good chance you have more than one. Uh, one thing mice are very good at is reproducing. Um, a male mouse often has a little harem of female mice, and those female mice can have eh, five to ten liters of baby mice every year, five to ten per year. And those litters of baby mice can have, uh, they average about seven, seven babies per litter, and they can have as many as 14 little baby mice in one litter. And that one male mouse who is in charge of the harem, I guess, uh, he can have a number of these females. So as you can tell, mice can reproduce very quickly. Your home can be overrun in a very short time. Uh, multiply five to 10 times an average of seven times how many females? It's, it's a little bit scary. So if you see a mouse, a mouse, um, take action because they can be dangerous to your health and they can absolutely damage your structure. So. There are a few things that you can do. You can get a glue trap. Um, however, I am a soft-hearted soul. I really don't, I want the mouse dead. I want it out of my house, and the only way to do that really is to kill it. But I really don't want it to suffer. Again, a soft-hearted soul that I am. So a glue trap, the mouse will walk on the trap with its paws, then its legs, then its whole body, and it cannot escape and it will die a very slow and very miserable death and somehow that doesn't appeal to me. You can get poison. Yes, you can poison these mouse, these mice that will kill them. Um, however, they don't die immediately. What they will do is crawl someplace like perhaps into your wall, uh, into some place that's difficult to get to where it feels secure and it will die there, and very soon it will begin to smell horribly. If you've ever smelled a dead mouse, you'll know if you've had one in your structure, you know that smell doesn't go away for a long, long time. You do not want a dead mouse hidden in your structure somewhere. You just do not. So that pretty much leaves us to the tried and true, the, the good old fashioned mouse trap. So let's talk about setting a mouse trap, what you do, um, this is one that actually I just caught. I've caught two of these mice that my wife saw. She also saw a baby one and she was a little bit, uh, say, uh, anyway, that mouse is going to get out of my house. Baby mice tend to grow to be big mice and big mice tend to have a whole lot of baby mice. So let's avoid having any mice at all in my house. This mouse trap unset. You see this little thing dangling down here? A mouse trap is quite simple, not very much to it at all. Here's how you set it. Here's how you, this is the trap, and I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go, snap. If you're a mouse and you are in there, you are going to die. So I'm gonna set it very quickly, pull that down, I'm going to hold it here. As long as I'm holding it, it's not that heavy. It's easy to pull. This guy is gonna go up. You might look right here. The little bend on this goes underneath the catch right there. And it's going to hold that trap right there. Just like so. I can slowly release this. And as long as I am holding this mouse trap right here, this mouse trap cannot hurt me. If my finger is in there, yes, it's going to hurt it whenever that pops off. So what happens? The mouse bumps this little guy right here. When he bumps that, it releases this. The trap closes extremely quickly and the mouse will be caught. So here's what I do. Here's what I do. 
first of all, mice don't like cheese. Uh, Disney kind of convinced us that he that that the mice like cheese. They don't like cheese. Uh, what they do like is peanut butter. They love peanut butter. I'm a fan of the good old tried and true. You probably have seen this brand. I have eaten a lot of it over the years and still do. So I'm going to grab a little dollop of this. Not too much. Not too much. Also, let me say, if you're going to set multiple traps, um, I really don't like sticking the knife into a peanut butter that has been on a used mousetrap. It's kind of funny like that. I prefer to have a, uh, I'll put a lot of peanut butter onto the trap, or I'm sorry, onto the knife if it's going to go onto multiple traps. Uh, but for now, this is probably a little bit more than I need. And looking at what I do here, it goes underneath, underneath the little catch. You see right there? I put it underneath, and what I have found is a mouse will stick its head, its whole, its neck underneath there. And then when the trap comes down on it, uh, it's frequently a headshot, which is a little bit gruesome, I understand. However, it's also a very quick death for the mouse. Um, in addition, another thing I do, I like to put one of these things under the mouse trap. Sometimes the mouse bleeds a little bit before it dies or during while it's dead. So a paper towel is kind of a handy thing to have. So I put it right here, just a little bit, if you can see. Again, pull the spring back. Set this in here, might need to move it around just a little bit. And I'm being careful. I'm holding my thumb on here carefully. Uh, this mouse trap it cannot hurt me at the moment. And there it is. It is that simple. I want to deset this mouse trap. Again, I'm gonna just press it right there. That falls away. The spring is secure, but I think I have more mice in my house. This is going back into service. Uh, this one was caught actually about an hour ago, so it is being very good. There it's set. Slowly my thumb comes off, and then pretty quickly, because if it happens to snap, I don't want my fingers anywhere around it. I hold it right here. There's not a th The trap is going to go up to here. I'm holding it right there, and there it is. And this trap is going to go back into service. Maybe it will catch another mouse. We shall see. Someone mentioned to me just a few days ago that a thing to try is that mice like peanuts. So inside the peanut butter, put a peanut. So what the heck? I tried it. And I looked at the trap the next day and all the peanut butter around it had been eaten and the peanut was still there. So let's call that myth debunked. And I will also say you'll probably find a number of times that you'll find the peanut butter is gone. The mouse has eaten the peanut butter, but it has not set the trap. Okay, um, keep resetting that trap. The fact that the peanut butter is gone tells you you do have a mouse. And again, you need to get rid of that mouse before that mouse starts getting busy with its ladies, or maybe it is a lady that's going to have five, 10 litters per year, or averaging seven, as many as 14 mice per litter. Uh, get rid of that mouse. Keep resetting it. Keep resetting it. And also, um, keep fresh peanut butter. This is one I've had out for a few days. The peanut, this is also one that I tried the peanut. And as you can see, the peanut is still there. Um, no mouse bothered to get that. But I think maybe a mouse did eat a little bit of the peanut butter out from inside it. So I like fresh peanut butter because the mice seem to like fresh peanut butter. So we're going to reset these at the moment. I have six mouse traps around my kitchen, six of them. And um, that's okay because more the better. There might be 12 mice in my house. There might be 120 mice in my house. I, uh, I want every opportunity to catch mice. So I have more than one. I have six mouse traps set and I'm going to keep them set until I see no more evidence of mice eating this peanut butter or being caught in the traps. So with that, good luck on catching your mouse. And again, 
do so very quickly. And thank you for watching.